Dag Hammarskjöld became the UN Secretary General in 1953. At first he was believed to be a boring Swedish technocrat, but in fact he was a flaming and strong-willed idealist. It is very easy to bow to the wish of a big power. It is another matter to resist. For Amarjo, one of the most important tasks of the UN was to protect the African countries who had recently gained independence from the tactics of all colonial powers. These new nations wish to build a life of progress in full independence. To look to the United Nations for moral, political and economic support. This made him a lot of enemies amongst the old colonial powers. So, if there was a time where members of the UN were longing for the death of the Secretary General, it was during the reign of Dag Hammarskjöld. I know that I'm speaking for all my fellow Americans. Jack Hammarskjöld, the Secretary General, was missing on his flight to Andola, and all hope was lost. We want to find out if Hammarskjöld was the victim of a conspiracy. Kantok to Chosain wa sono jiken no nazo o otte Afrika e. We are here because we are making a documentary of the wreckage. So they keep the wreckage of the Albertina Hammarskjöld's plane inside a sealed hangar. There's nothing here. Yeah, we found it. Yeah, so we found the spot. Can you read that sentence to me? Yeah, theory for the senior citizens. But that is bizarre. Shikashi, the event's no kai mei wa ikizumatta. No, not this Hammarskjöld thing again. It's, it's Hammarskjöld. You know you, the feeling you have when you are really close to something. Do you know anything about Saima, the leader of Saima? And uh, it seemed to entail only the investigation, the research. Codename was... Something happened there. What, what happened there? Mr. Jones! This was not an assassination attack. Can you switch off? Who killed Hammarskjöld? Who killed Hammarskjöld? 